12 ways how to make a man fall deeply in love with you do you want to make a man fall in love with you forever you might be asking this question because you like a guy a lot and you're looking forward to him feeling the same for you he's the man of your dreams and you adore him you want him by your side now by but unfortunately you still don't have him you're willing to do whatever it takes for him to chase you like you be attracted to you and fall madly in love with you but it seems like a huge mistake in this video you will learn some of the basic not so basic things that make that you can do to attract a man and make him fall in love with you but before we get started if you would like to know every man's secret obsession click the link in the description number 1 don't lose hope don't lose hope if you want a guy to fall in love with you you have to be hopeful at all times losing hope can be a disease not only in trying to win the heart of a man but also in all things that we can do in the day to day life so never lose hope when it concerns love cuz love is all about patience I never lose hope. Number 2, you should be yourself. It is important to be yourself and not someone else when it comes to personality and character. If you are pretending to be different from your true self when trying to make a guy like you, you are not doing yourself any favors. Men realize authenticity. It's just like a man who tries to deceive you deceive you about his whereabouts how he looks and everything so you should always be yourself don't try to be someone else number 3 beware of your appearance don't let your appearance let you down your appearance can make you win or lose when it comes to dating to so please a man and make him get interested in you you should be presentable Be aware of what you're wearing, whether or not your hair is clean, and if you're dressed appropriately. Appropriately does not mean you should be too sexy. When you're too sexy, you appear like a lost girl, or you appear like an escort girl in front of him. You should just be clean. You should be presentable. You know your appearance counts a lot, especially on the first date. Listen, don't just talk. When you want to please and make a man fall in love with you, it is important that you listen. Don't just talk. If you chat incessantly, when you are nervous, find some other way to cope with your nerves. Many girls make the mistake of talking more than they listen. When they are around a potential male partner, girls are the only ones, of course. Many men do the same. But this is a big mistake that can easily cost you getting the man of your dreams. You have to listen to him. You shouldn't be every time focus on yourself. You know, with discussions, everybody wants to talk about themselves. Every few pride in talking about yourself. So also give him an opportunity to speak about himself. You shouldn't be the center of the conversation. Also let him speak. Number 5 show confidence liking yourself makes it easy for him to like you you are a good person with very special qualities be confident that you are worthy of being loved confidence is key sure some women seem to make a career out of catching men by playing the victim or helpless female no be confident once as you love yourself it's easy for someone to love you cuz if you don't even love yourself how are people going to love you Number 6 smile and laugh. When you are walk, when you're walking on ways to make a guy fall in love with you, it is essential to smile and laugh. Don't present an unfriendly face. Be as outgoing, friendly and social as you feel comfortable being. You should always be in a happy mood because if you're always angry or depressed, you're indirectly driving him away from you. Whenever he's by you, 
your mood changes the atmosphere, which is not great. Number seven, you have to give, not just take. You have to give and not just take to increase your chances of him falling in love with you. A man can easily differentiate between the girl who wants something from him and one who cares for him. You shouldn't be the type where it's all about give me, give me, give me. You shouldn't be very materialistic. But you should know that a guy should also like know your, what you're bringing to the table. You're bringing stability. You're bringing happiness. You're bringing good luck. Because a man consider a girl who takes a lot as someone who brings bad luck to him. A man who is interested in you who wants to feel that it's mutual. The relationship isn't a one-sided relationship. So you should be someone who also gives. You should not only take. Let him put some effort in. If you keep chasing after a man for months while he's going on with his activities, you'll most likely be seen as a desperate woman. Being available to him always is not really a good thing. Don't let him get bored. You know, men love the, the process of chasing. So if you feel desperate, he feels like he doesn't even have to struggle for you. And it makes him lose interest. Let a man go in for you. Let a man chase after you. It's in the process of, the process of chasing that he gets to see your value. But if you're always available for him, that's a big no. That's a big error. So many ladies do. Number nine, get to know and understand what he does. This is something that could dramatically increase your chances of winning his love. Take opportunity to get involved in things he does. Ask him whether he needs to help. He needs any help to accomplish the task. You have to know what he does. His educational background, his aspirations, how he treats his close people, how his family members, his source of income. Because by the time you get to know, you give him the belief that you want to be part of what he's doing. That is, you're invested in him. You're invested in what he's doing. And from there, it gives him confidence. Because he believes that by you knowing, it shows you're already an intimate part of him. And that's what that's an important point. Get to know what he does. Number 10. Have patience and don't push him too hard to make important decisions. Patience will definitely pay off. Be patient and go slow when trying to make a man fall in love with you. Don't expect him to fall in love or say yes to your advances instantly. Many men will definitely need time to decide whether he is ready to enter into a relationship with you or not. We are in a fast going society and a lot of people want immediate things. When you buy from Walmart, you want it to arrive your house the same day. With the internet, things go so fast. And that's what a lot of ladies face problems with their relationships. The one thing to go immediately as the one. The one the man to take them out for vacations. The need gives instantly. The one him to be the perfect guy. But sometimes you have to be patient. You know, everybody has his own troubles. A man is facing his own crisis in his own places. He can't marry you today. He can't marry you now. He needs time. He needs to process himself. He needs to get ready. You all need to be together. Because what comes fast goes fast too. What comes easily goes easily. What comes in with hard work goes difficultly. So you should be patient and exercise a lot of patience. Number 11. Don't be possessive. Many women make the mistake of being too possessive of a man before he even admits he loves them. When this is the case, she may try to protect him from other women so that she remains the only woman in his life. Possessiveness is not only unattractive, but it can be extremely toxic and harmful to both of you and your potential partner. When you are too possessive, this makes a man... You, you're actually driving him away. Because let's say, for example, he and have his cousins, his colleagues, you become too scared. 
you become aggressive towards them because you don't want the man to your your, your guy to have any other female friend you don't want him by you just want him by yourself and that's a selfish attitude cuz before being your boyfriend he's a human being before being your husband he's a human being so don't be too possessive with men number 12 and the final have good morals good morals are a necessity in convincing a man to love you nobody wants to get involved with someone who can't be trusted men like women who are disciplined and not push overs having behave maturely towards him and respectful of him just as you expect him to be respected towards you furthermore have respect for yourself and your values know who you are and what you stand for a lot of men love good attitudes and good habits even you as a woman even if you have a friend do you love a friend with a bad attitude with a bad morale no you love someone with good morals men love religious women men love women who pray so before someone even has respect you you should respect yourself and have your values because by the time you stand by your principles a lot of people appreciate you a person with no value and principle is a vulnerable person the person can easily be thrown left and right like a dog so you should have morals and you should have good morals you should have a good attitude you should have a good behavior and that will save a lot in your wedding or in your relationships or in your dating life you know a guy can spot your attitude he can feel your aura in a crowd of 1000 men so having good morals your respect to wash people the way you approach the way you talk to him you should make him feel that you have you're from a very good background and thanks for watching don't forget to like to know every man secret obsession click the link in the description below don't forget to subscribe to and please don't forget there's a link in the description it will help you learn the secret obsession to every man's heart.